guys, so I thought I would jump back into my channel with a current favorites video because obviously I am incapable of keeping up with monthly favorites anymore and or videos at all apparently. But um I'm just gonna jump right in with some just random things, I guess, not all beauty. I'm gonna start with food, of course. So I have been really enjoying these chia seeds from Trader Joe's and um, I guess I went in looking for flax seeds to put into my smoothies and stuff, but I found this and I decided to try it out and I did some research on it and it's good for your digestion and just your, um, the way your body breaks down food and everything too. So it works a lot like flax seeds. So I decided to try this out and I've been loving these because they're very similar to basil seeds, which, um, I'm Vietnamese. Um, we have this dessert that I like grew up eating kind of and there's these little seeds in there when you put it in hot water it kind of becomes a jelly type seed and I this tastes just like it because I've been putting it in my smoothies which I have here now. Um, I've been putting it in my oatmeal and I've just been really liking it because it really fills you up and it makes it helps you eat less I guess in smaller portions and I really recommend trying these out. Next thing I want to talk about I kind of don't want to talk about just because it has been overhyped and over talked about here on YouTube and so I'm not going to talk too much about it but cookie butter the crunchy one the hype is so real you guys just need to go check this out obviously I've been at Trader Joe's um there's no Trader Joe's around where I live right now but every time I go home I go to Trader Joe's just to pick some of these things up and I really just you need to try this out I'm not going to talk about it because Everyone's already talked about it. So I got this new phone case, and it looks like a cassette tape, which I am a huge fan of. Um, I think it's so cute, and actually, I have both my phone cases as favorites in this video, because this one, um, I got, okay, so I filmed a haul a while ago, and I keep trying to save it, but it won't save. Like, I've edited it, and I'm, I can't upload it. I don't know what's happening, but this was in it, but um, this is a Kate Spade kind of wallet type thing where you open it, and... Um, if it's three cards and there's a little slot right here for whatever else, I put my key in there if I'm going out or whatever, and then my phone goes in here. But, um, the other day I went to Plato's Closet, which is kind of like a Salvation Army kind of thing if you don't have that near you, um, and I picked up this cassette one because the other one, while it's very handy, it's very bulky. So I wanted to pick this up for times when I don't really want to carry that, like I don't want a to-go wallet type thing when I'm carrying a purse or if I'm going somewhere that I don't want to get that one all messed up. Like this past weekend I went to the puppy farm, and, or a puppy farm, and um, I used this one because it's just a lot lighter and I don't want to lose my cards if I'm doing whatever. So I've been loving those. Now moving into hair stuff, I'm going to talk about this. I've been using this every single time I sh after I shower actually. And this is the BioSilk Volumizing Therapy Styling Foam. Um, it's basically a mousse that I put, I work into my roots after I shower when my hair is still damp. And it gives my hair just a little bit more volume because I have straight hair and it tends to get very flat if it sits for a while and it's just not flattering. I don't like flat hair. I like it to be very volumizing, which also leads me to the next thing I want to talk about that I've also been loving, and it's the Got To Be Powerful Volumizing Styling Powder, and you open it and there's a sifter with holes in it, and what I do, the instructions say to pour it directly onto your roots, but I put it in my hands, and then I work it into my roots, and girl, if you want volume, this is the shit you need to get because let me tell you my hair even with this bio silk one I say it helps me but it's not nearly enough like this it kind of keeps it from sitting on your scalp but if you want volume you need to pick this up and this was like four dollars at CBS or Walmart or wherever you want to get it but this is good shit you need you need to check this out I have found my holy grail makeup remover um, so the last one I talked about was the MAC Cleanse Off Oil, and I, like, I liked it better than anything I've tried previously, but it was still not getting all my mascara off, my waterproof mascara off, so, you know, I've still been on the hunt for a new waterproof mascara remover, and I have found the one. If you guys 
only use waterproof mascara and you have trouble getting it off, I really recommend this. It's the Maybelline Clean Express um, Makeup Remover for the waterproof eye, or yeah, waterproof eye makeup remover. And this is literally five, six dollars at Walmart. Um, oh, and I have had so much trouble finding this at CVS because I don't think they carry it there anymore, but um, it's in the Maybelline section at Walmart. Foundation that I've been using for the past few months, like every day that I've been in love with is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and this is in the shade Hazelnut Beige and um, this is just an amazing formulation. It First of all it has very pretty full coverage. It's not cakey when it's on, it's not drying, it's not oily. Um, I find that I don't even necessarily need to set this with a powder if I don't really want to. Like I'll set under my eyes no matter what but this formulation is so nice like it doesn't make you look dry or cakey but it also doesn't make you look greasy if that makes any sense um i just i don't it's very moussey but such a full coverage but not heavy and when i'm wearing it it feels really light on my skin because of that moussey texture i don't know how else to explain it but i really like it um keeping with face i actually am finishing well it's been done so I needed to pick up a new powder but this is the coverall what the wet and wild coverall powder and as you can see it's basically dead and I just needed a new powder but I'm still like trying to finish it up because there's that ring around it that I need to finish up but I do recommend trying this out if you're looking for a new powder it's very finely milled it doesn't settle into the creases under your eyes um, it sets everything very well. It's not heavy or like powdery. It doesn't sit on the skin. It's just a really good powder and it's really very, very affordable. So definitely recommend checking that out if you're looking for a new powder. But the powder that I picked up to try next is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder and this is in the shade Nude Beige 20. And okay, first of all, I hate the packaging on this. I can't close it. I don't like that makes me feel like I can't take it places but um at first when I got this I actually hated it because the first day I used it I don't know what was going on with my skin but it made my under eye concealer crease like hell like it was crazy I've never seen my under eyes like that it was awful I was so upset I was like I've heard so much hype about this and this is so ugly like I just felt so gross the whole day but um I gave it a few more chances, I kept trying it out, and I was like, you know, maybe it was just that day, whatever, and I find that this works really well if I use a really creamy concealer under my eyes, it sets it like a dream, actually. Um, I find that for other areas of my face, when I don't put too much foundation on, it's it tends to like sit on the skin, and it looks very powdery, and you can see a layer of powder on your skin, so I don't recommend it for that, but if you have a very thick concealer, like creamy concealer that's not too drying under the eyes I definitely definitely recommend checking this out um I have heard a lot of hype about this but I think it varies depending on your skin type so be cautious about it but do give it a shot uh, and then this concealer that I've been in love with this I'm not gonna say love um the past month and a half about um uh, it's this Rimmel London wake me up anti-fatigue effect plus radiant glow um concealer and I have actually, I haven't heard anything about this concealer, but I've heard a lot about the corresponding foundation for this. Like, it has the same orange packaging on it. Um, the lid is kind of tilted. I don't know if you guys have heard about that, but I've heard a lot about that. But nothing about this. I saw this at um, Wegmans, and I was like, that looks interesting. I'm going to try that. I find this to be super, like, creamy but not drying like it's very hydrating under my eyes and it brightens up under my eyes. Next I have three eyeshadows and they're all from e.l.f. The first one is called Purple Passion and it's in the single eyeshadow the studio line I think and yeah these come with a little mirror but this is just a really pretty um like ear not iridescent it's a very pretty medium purple color and I love this here I'm gonna try to I don't know if it's gonna show up um, this is definitely very buildable, like, you definitely want to use an eyeshadow base under this just because the color payoff without a base isn't all that spectacular, but this does 
like give off a nice radiance to it and I really like that so definitely look into this if you're looking for a medium kind of vibrant purple because it's not picking up in the viewfinder right now it looks really light actually but here yeah in that angle it looks a little bit better it's kind of a glowy purple and I really like it so I've been using this a lot um on my lower lash line just as a pop of color or I'll use it to kind of as the best friend color as I would or I guess as many people would call it um if I'm doing like a smoky purple look or something like just to blend out the edges and I think it's so pretty and then the other two are baked eyeshadows from elf and the first one I have here is enchanted and this is like the new dome shaped ones that um I saw this at Target and I wanted to pick some up and this one, like I said, is in Enchanted, and this is just a really pretty golden shade, and you can see how reflective that is on my middle finger right there. Um, I don't, I just really have been loving using this in my, on my, all over my lid. And then in the crease or outer corner, I guess, or even just as a lower lash line color, I've been loving the other one in Bark, and it looks like this, and this is a good, um, dupe for what's it called? Toasted by Urban Decay, I think, and I don't even know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's super reflective, these two baked ones, and especially using them wet, they're amazing. They look really good on. That's all for my current favorites. I have been loving a lot of lip products, but they, I've just been all over the place with lip products, and I'm going to be doing a fall kind of favorites video soon, so you guys will see those in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys have been loving, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.